What happens when we work in cylindrical coordinate systems, in orthogonal co curvilinear coordinate system? Not much changes. Look, they change the name. I told you that when we talk in the, 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 the key, the clue for working in orthogonal coordinate system, for instance, in cylindrical coordinates, is to work in this local Cartesian system that varies from point to point, x, pi, x prime, which is associated to the coordinate line r, y prime, which is associated to the positive evolution of the coordinate theta, and z prime, which is associated to coordinate z. Okay? So I can compute the stresses in this coordinate system and plot them into the unit volume uh, plane, which is, in that case, this, the, pla the plane R that corresponds to the coordinated R is that. And that is a visible plane. So the normal stress here, sigma x prime, it's called sigma R. And it's positive if it's tension, and negative if it's compressive. Okay? The tangential stresses are called tau x prime y, tau x prime z. Here, the first index indicates the plane in which they, they, they act. Are tangential to the plane orthogonal to the r direction. So, tau r theta are positive. Look, what is the positive sense of tau r theta here? Tau r theta is that, and tau r zeta is that. But let's look now tau r theta. Look, that vector is growing in that, that angle is growing in that sense. So the positive sense of theta is that. So the positive i prime is that. So in that sense, it's positive. In that sense, it's negative. By the way, in this hidden plane, how would they be positive otherwise? It's, it's the other side. OK? Because this is a hidden plane, and this is a visible plane, which is corresponds to a normal which corresponds to the x prime here. So tau r theta, po r theta positive is in that sense, in that sense, and tau r zeta positive is in that sense. Let's look at the plane, for instance. That plane is a hidden plane, is a non-positive plane. Why? Because it's negative with respect to the coordinate. The normal to that is not the uh, e, e theta, but minus e theta. So this is a, ne a negative plane. Is a hidden plane in that sense. The positive plane is that one, which we don't see here. But this is a negative plane. So the criteria of signs are the opposite in terms of the tangential, not in terms of the normal. For instance, the normal stress is sigma theta. And the tangential stress, if tau theta z and tau r theta are positive, are follow the sense of minus, of minus direction r, and minus direction zeta, because it's a negative plane. It's a plane which we call before hidden plane that from now on we'll call negative, which the normal to that is negative in sense of the corresponding coordinate. And the same for sigma zeta. Sigma z is positive in tension, negative in compression. That doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. By this plane, as it's plotted here, is positive or negative? What do you think? Is this plane a positive plane or negative plane? Positive. positive, because it follows the normal. It follows that one. So the criteria is tau zeta theta is positive, follows the increased sense of the coordinate r, and tau zeta r, if positive tau zeta r, if positive, that means the corresponding stress follows the increased sense of coordinate z. Okay? But in this hidden plane here, in this negative plane here, if I wanted to plot the stress state according to this stress tensor, I have to plot sigma z down, tau zt in that sense, tau zr in that sense. Follow me? In coordinate, in, in coordinate, in a spherical coordinate system, is the same. Look, now the stresses are called sigma r, sigma theta, sigma phi, according to the three coordinates, r theta, uh, theta phi, I recall r is the distance, theta is that distance, that angle, that increases in that sense, so this coordinate lines, line increases in that sense, okay? And phi is 
the azimut angle, which increases in that sense, so the, the coordinate increases in that sense. So, for instance, if I want to plot the stresses on this cube, cube of planes, look, for instance, this plane here. In terms of r, this is a positive plane. So sigma r, positive intention, negative incompression. Tau r phi is positive, follows the direction of increasing of phi, so that one, the parallel increasing. And look, tau r uh, theta, if positive, follows the direction of increasing of coordinate theta. So positive going down to the meridian. Okay, that's what is plot positive here. Did this angle instead, if a negative angle in terms of a negative uh, plane in terms of z, of phi, sorry. So the directions are the, the, the opposite. And this plane here is a positive angle in terms of theta, because this normal follows the direction sigma theta, uh, the normal goes the increasing direction of theta. So the directions are standard. 